I think that people, the reason why they didn't like her is because there's easy things to say about her that's annoying, like her cough and her laugh and stuff like that. That's what I think they were making her look like, the annoying one. Andrew annoyed everybody, and he was first out. If they cut someone together like seven times in a row coughing or seven times in a row laughing, you could turn anyone's cough or laugh into an annoyance. Yeah. But the thing about being in here, you know, they've asked me a couple times, like, what do I think are the bad habits of other people? I mean, it's impossible to have it because everyone does have that, and mm -hmm. you can't help it over time when you're stuck with a bunch of people. You know what I mean? It's like certain things are going to become annoying that would never be that way if you weren't constantly with them. Well, I don't, the, I, the thing is, is I don't know how they'd make the fight just make Nicola look like the evil one when Denise pulled down my pants. Well, yeah, that's what really disturbs me, but you got to remember Denise got that big, big, big audience, man. It's kind of unfair, actually. It's, it's unbalanced to put her in here when she has this nationwide television audience for her show, mm -hmm. which is predominantly women, and I've heard that it was predominantly women voting. But if that's true, then a lot of women would be against the two of yous because, you know, jealousy of that nature. Yeah. And you're still here, so every time I think I got something figured out, I realize that I don't. So I know she has a massive following, obviously. And that could have been what kept her in here. Or maybe, you know, uh, when she started crying about Nicola pressing the button, Maybe people thought, wow, you know? Yeah, I didn't think of that. Maybe they thought that Nicholas shouldn't have pushed the button like that. But she, I mean, I, I can't figure it out. Maybe they just figured that she was the one who was really, I mean, the other morning when she got up, her face was like, you know, yeah. a mask of tension. Yeah. And meanwhile, Denise is still like, good morning, hello. So maybe they just kind of figured, oh, Jesus, you know, we got to get someone out. Yeah. It's not necessarily going to be the antagonist. We could sit here and try to figure it out for hours, and it's not going to make any sense. I mean, why do you think they voted Rome's out? I have no idea why Rome's is gone. I, you know what I thought of? Maybe it's because <coughs> he's quiet. He doesn't have any beef with anybody. He doesn't have a bad opinion on anybody. And he's so maybe quiet that and reserved or laid back, whatever it is, that people aren't dying to call in to vote him to stay. They just kind of overlook him. They're not dialing up the speed dial saying, save Romeo, save Romeo, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he was definitely quiet. Yeah the quietest of anyone who's ever been in here. Yeah. I mean, he sided up with Denise big time during that whole thing. Yeah, you did. I thought that was going to work against him. He came out and he said that, I don't want to side with any of you guys, so I just want you both, I told her this too, I just want you both to just um, find the inner peace. I said, she hasn't came up and apologized to me yet. <laughs> That's what I said. And then she said she's going to. And then the next day I said, she hasn't apologized to me. And he says, well, I see that you're trying or whatever. I, I could have seen him and I could have seen Romeo and Denise being uh, ejected. Yeah, I've you know? definitely seen Denise going for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thought that would have really been but then again, a wise they, decision. The only Especially three. because even this afternoon, she's still making comments about you guys. Oh, I know. You know, come on. Now she knows she's not going no matter what. And she can start in because she's justified for pulling your pants down and telling you you're from different worlds. And now you're getting party information that she's not getting. Instead of dropping it and moving on, she feels well justified now that her attacks on you are justified and, yeah. and that people are behind it. She finally gave up on me and now she's going to go after you 